welcome to Kids Church. My name is Sarah. I'm so excited to be here. Are you excited to be here? I'm so glad you can join us today so we can learn about Jesus anytime, anywhere. So are you ready for today's lesson? Let's get ready for today's lesson. Good morning, children. I am Susanna. It is so good to see you today. We are going to learn Psalm chapter 100, verses 3 to 5. Before we start, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Please open our eyes and touch our hearts so that we can see your glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hello, my name is Timmy. Our memory verse for this week is... Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm chapter 100 verse 4. Let's read it once more. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his court with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm 104. Today, we will talk about being thankful. In your house, who does all the shopping, cleaning and washing? Who cooks all the meals? Who buys you clothes and toys? Who takes you to the park? Did you do all that by yourself? Or did your pets do it? Is it the Superman? No? Is it your daddy and mommy? Yes! Aren't they good for doing all these wonderful things for you? How often do you say thank you to them? When was the last time you said thank you to your daddy or mommy? Did you say it today? If you haven't, try it and see what their reaction is. What can we be thankful for? Let's see what Todd thinks. The Thankful Book, written and illustrated by Todd Parr. Every day I try to think about the things I am thankful for. I am thankful for my hair because it makes me unique. I am thankful for my ears because they let me hear words like, I love you. I am thankful for my garden because I like to watch things grow. I am thankful for my shadow because it makes me look taller. I am thankful for bubble baths because they keep me squeaky clean. I am thankful for underwear because I like to wear it on my head. I am thankful for my friends because they make me smile. I am thankful for my pets because they keep me warm. I am thankful for vacations because I get to see new people and places. I am thankful for walks because they are special times for just you and me. I am thankful for my hands because they help me give special gifts. I am thankful for my feet because they help me run and play. I am thankful for music because it makes me want to dance. I am thankful for colors because they make me want to paint. I am thankful for school because I love to learn new things. I am thankful for the library because it is filled with endless adventures. I am thankful for healthy food because it keeps me strong. I am thankful for the fall because I like to jump in the leaves. I am thankful for the winter because I like to build snowmen. I am thankful for hugs because they make me feel good. I am thankful for kisses because they make me feel loved. I am thankful for holidays because they bring my family together. There are lots of things to be thankful for. Try to remember some of them every day. The end. Love, Todd. Do you remember what Todd was thankful for? Todd was thankful for his body, friends, pets and family. 
He also gave thanks for the garden, food, seasons, music and colour, even his shadow. What else can we be thankful for? And who should we thank for all of these things? Ah, God! Because he created all of these things and gave them to us. Take a look at yourself. You can sing and dance, pull faces and make all sorts of noises. Believe it or not, there is no computer or machine in the world that is more delicate than you. You are so wonderfully and fearfully made. Psalm 100 verse 3 says, It is God who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. This is a picture of a sheep on a pasture. Who do you think owns the sheep? The sheep itself? The mummy sheep? No, it is the owner of the herd. You and I, your daddy and mummy, were all made by God. And we are all owned by God. We belong to him. We should thank God, just like how we should thank daddy and mummy for the things that they do for us every day. So how do you say thank you to your daddy and mummy? Do you say it with a smile on your face? Or maybe with warm hugs and kisses? Yes? Good on you! How do you say thank you to God then? Do you whisper it like butterfly flutters? Or do you say it with singing and dancing like King David did? Next time when daddy or mommy put meals on the table or tuck you into bed, you can thank them for what they do. And at the same time, thank God for giving you loving family. When you thank your friends for sharing their toys with you, you may also thank God for giving you such nice friends. When you enjoy your play in the park, remember God's goodness and thank Him. We thank God because He loves us and He is always, always good. Before we go, let's sing a song together with gladness.
Just ready to rock it out for Jesus it was today. I hope you remember today's lesson. Talk to mom and dad about what you learned today. I can't wait to see you again. See you! Bye!